All right, here we go. It's been a long time since I've been on here. I've received a lot of emails of people asking where I've been. Uh, what's the update? When are you coming back? As you see the title, um, I'm going to go ahead and explain what has happened and what has led to this being my last video for aquaponics. So, like many of you know, I've been gone for a good amount of time, a few years now. I've been off the scene. And really what has happened during that time is I really took that period to get fully immersed in the zone of aquaponics and really perfect my craft. You know, when I first started aquaponics, um, it's been over a decade now, um, when I first saw the first video on aquaponics, it was like a mind-blowing experience. I couldn't believe exactly what it was that I was seeing. It was something that was like amazing. And it was like I found exactly what it was I was looking for. Because at that time, I was looking for something that I really loved and really wanted to do and enjoy getting to. And something I can do for a long period of my life. And maybe the rest of my life. Because if I'm going to work and do something for you know a certain amount of time per day, I want it to be something that I was interested and love doing so when I saw aquaponics you got, I got that feeling like as I hit the bullseye and everything just lined up it was like that is exactly what I wanted to do I had no experience with aquaponics growing anything none of my family had grown anything I didn't have any friends that had grown anything prior so I really didn't know anything about growing I was unfamiliar with the process but at that time I really didn't care because it looked it just looked so intriguing that whatever it required for me to do, I was just going to figure it out. That's exactly what my mindset was. And it looked like it was something easy. It looked like it's something I can just figure it out. So what I did was I got a lot of the uh, equipment, tools, things that I had never used before. And then I assembled an aquaponic system, me and one of my friends. And we put it together and then over the, the time started to try to grow things. And then I quickly realized like this thing is... A bit harder than what I thought it was. There's a lot more to this aquaponics thing than just putting it together and just uh, you know throwing fish in there and feeding them. There was a lot more intricacies and a lot more nuances that I needed to find out and that was okay. So I struggled a lot for the first few years and I really was just like trying to figure out exactly how this thing worked and how I can get it to be as simple as I thought it would be when I first saw it, right? So I spent many years just trying to figure out how it worked and then trying to get it to grow stuff on a consistent basis. And that was a big challenge for me in the beginning. And just like anything else going into, you know, where you don't have any experience, uh, it's, it's gonna, you're going to meet a lot of challenges, which I met. And what I had to figure out is that, you know, I'm going to have to overcome these things and figure out exactly what, I need to do and what I need to understand in order to make this system work and to make these plants grow because this is exactly what I want to do is what I'm thinking. So over the years after that, like as I continued thinking about, you know, how aquaponics worked, continued building my experience up with it and eventually started growing things and having some success at things, what I did was I figured that, you know, I had gained enough confidence and I figured that I can teach other people how to do this so they can pretty much prevent themselves from, you know, being a biscuit headed grower, as some of you guys know that slogan. And, you know, you can skip a lot of the steps that I had had to learn on the way and then save yourself some time. So what did I end up doing? I ended up starting the School of Aquaponics, which over the years, you know, it helped like somewhere around 14,000 people get growing with aquaponics, which is something I'm proud of. I'm um really thankful and appreciative to those people who supported and who came out and um and 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 just showed their support. So I appreciate that and that's something that I'm always grateful for for those those people that did join. So as the school got rolling, you know, everything is taking off, it's it's flowing, things are 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 working out, students are coming in and I'm doing videos on YouTube, the YouTube channel's growing. Um it's doing very well. I began still working on my craft, still thinking of ways on how I can build this ideal system that 
I know can be built, but I just don't know exactly what it is that needs to happen for it to be built. I have in my mind, like, there's something, there's a particular way that this aquaponic system is supposed to work to where it's super easy, right? And I never gave up on that idea. And so what happened was, as the as you compound knowledge and information over time with experience, you begin to find new ways and different ways of doing things begin to become more practical to you and you get you get to those ideas become more realistic you know in in the way that you're thinking about aquaponics so as i begin to really start to get more experience with aquaponics a lot of these ideas start flooding in i'd be sitting up at nighttime drawing out like a lot of sketches like over the years drawing out a lot of sketches figuring out how things would work testing stuff out until it got to a point where it was just like flooded with ideas where it's like I know that I can figure this out I'm getting close to something so as I started going out there I started getting in the zone and as I started getting in the zone it really took up all of my time right it took up all of my time because when I started to get that fuel and fire of like determination like when you're just right there try almost getting ready to figure it out and you just can't stop. That's what happened. So it got to the point where I couldn't make any more videos because I was zoned in on figuring out how am I going to get this aquaponic system to, 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 to work in the way I want it to work. And I know I'm right there. I know I'm right there. But come to find out the right there was like two or three years away. Right. Because I was building on it. But it seems like you're close there. You're close. And then that closeness, you keep finding other things out that you can tweak and you just keep adjusting. And it's like, man, this keeps working. That keeps working. This doesn't work. Right. I failed a whole bunch of times. I failed way more times than 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 I succeeded. Right. And in fact, I failed so many times that it was just like the only things that were left were the things that would allow me to be successful in making it work the way I had in my mind. So staying up all this time, going over it, going over it, putting it together, building the system, I finally got it to a point where it's like, okay, here we go, right? I can use this thing. This is what I'm talking about right here, right? It had all types, the, all the things that pretty much that I th thought about as making it as easy as I could. So we started a market, me and my wife, and she helped out a tremendous amount. Right. She'd give little pointers. She didn't do aquaponics, but coming from the outside, like she would give her pointers and I'd have her go out there with me and let's find out what's easy for you to do. Someone who, who, who doesn't do aquaponics, what would be easy for them to do? That was kind of the idea. And she'd give these great pointers where it's like, wow, that's a great idea. And I would implement those things and um, and they would they would work out a lot of the times they will work out better than the ideas that I had. Right. So then what we did was we ended up opening up a market where we're growing a lot of vegetables for the community, delivering vegetables, getting into all that phenomenal experience, learned a ton of stuff, you know, failed at a lot of things and, um, but we kept, kept our head, uh, heads high and continued to persist. And then the idea was, that I would take the knowledge and the experience that I had accumulated over this entire process, and then this would be something that I could bring back into the aquaponics community, right? That was the idea. So I had learned all these things, these new things, and as I'm getting ready to start to transition and make my way back into the aquaponics community, that's when this particular voice began to tell me, like, you're not going back to aquaponics. And this was like a major shock to me because I had been doing all this and this is what I had been expecting. Like, I would go back and bring the information back to the community. But this particular voice or this particular aspect of myself, the intuitive part, this is something when it, when, when it, when that 
voice starts to hit like that and I get that particular feeling where it's a strong conviction, I've learned over the years that I need to listen to it. And I've always listened to it. And the results of listening to it have always paid off. So and, 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 and the voice doesn't come this strong only when there's life changing events that are getting ready to occur. Uh, occur. So I'm thinking about it and I'm taking it in and I'm like, OK, why would I end up doing all of this work for, you know, the past 12 years learning aquaponics to get to this point where I'm finally at? just to get the confirmation that I'm not going to be going back doing aquaponics. This was a, like a, a strange thing. It was a, a, something that was confusing, but I contemplated on it for some, some days. And then it finally hit me that I had been doing aquaponics for those, you know, the past 12 years. It wasn't necessarily to have aquaponics as, the end goal. What I was really doing was building up my characteristics, uh, traits, attributes, learning my inner self, learning things about myself. Those were the things that I was really learning in order for me to take that and use that in another area that will have a bigger impact on a larger scale. And so I started to understand that. And then as I started to understand that, I began to accept the reality of what was getting ready to happen, that I wasn't getting ready to go back. And I became okay with it because, I've, like I said, I've had to take these decisions and make these type of decisions before. And some of these large decisions like that is what led me out of getting out of a, like a poverty mindset from a young kid working my way out of these areas, listening to these aspects of myself and making moves, big moves, when you're going into the unknown. So sometimes you have to give up something that you value at a high level, start over again to receive something of a higher level. You have to make sacrifices, and this is one of those sacrifices that I'm having to make with hopes that it'll be the right thing, right? Because it always works out. That's one of the things that I've learned to understand about the reality that I've constructed for myself within my mind, that it always works out, and I hold that to be a truth it always works out because it's always has worked out ever since young so this is um you know it's a you know it's one of those it's one of those things it's just one of those things where you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do you know and that's exactly what i have to do i have to do what i have to do and so aquaponics has been it's really been like um, a life-changing process, a life-changing practice. I've learned a lot of things out of aquaponics, right? It's taught me many secrets of life, many lessons, right? It's taught me many things that I am forever ever grateful for. And it'll teach anybody else out there similar or the same lessons when they learn to like see it for what it is and take the lessons that it'll show you. It can teach you anything from things that occur on the outer world and it can teach you things about yourself in the inner world. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, I have some other things that I'm going to be doing from here on out. And some of you, you know, you'll um, catch me on on the other side, and um, and you'll see me on, on, in a new light. And for the others, you know, that that don't see me on that other side, that's okay. But I want to thank you for just at least lending me your ear and listening to the message, 
and hopefully you were able to get something from it. Um, yeah, just, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for all the people in the aquaponic community. You know, everyone that's, that's out there, you know, you guys keep pushing, keep going strong, keep building aquaponic systems, take it to the next level. And that's just uh, where we're at right now. So I want to thank everybody, whole entire aquaponics community, and, and, and specifically aquaponics itself. So I'm grateful, and this is my last video. Woo!